Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play series for Farming Simulator 22. As you guys already know from the thumbnail, I've decided to name this series Bacon and Eggs. Uh, to give you a little bit of pretty big hint on what we're going to be doing in this one. Obviously, we have done cows before. We have done uh, chickens before. We are going to do chickens again just because it goes with the bacon. Um, but... Uh, we have not done pigs yet, and pigs are kind of unpopular, I'll be honest with you. Um, but the good thing is, because we're going to be playing on the hard mode, uh, you know, difficulty for the economy, that does make pigs a bit more worthwhile to do. In fact, that's actually the only level, as far as I understand, that makes pigs worth doing uh, relative to the crops that you give them to feed them. Uh, because for all the other ones, you get more from the crops. All the other levels, you get more from the crops than you do from pigs. The thing with the animals is that uh actually selling the animals does not change depending on which difficulty you're on you know they always sell for the same amount so uh at hard level difficulty uh we will make a profit off the eggs oh it's a lot of work there's a lot of crops there's four different crops you got to put into a pigs uh, there's technically pigs can take uh four of any of uh, there's there's one two three four five six seven eight, nine different crops that pigs can eat uh, you have to choose four of those under certain categories uh, and i will tell you guys what those are once we get into the game but uh Bacon and eggs. Let's go ahead and get into the episode. All right, here we are at Evergreen Farmstead. This is where we're going to be putting our pigs because this is kind of already set up for pigs. And well, we're going to show you that for here in a second. I've talked about this before, I think in the first series uh, but if you ever look at the map of farming simulator let's come look at the map for a second um, each corner of the main uh, map here on um, Elm Creek is um, this is Elm Creek right? <laughs> I'm just mind blank the name uh, each corner of the map is themed towards a certain animal type uh, the bottom right hand corner where we're at right now is themed towards pigs the bottom left hand corner is themed towards cows uh, the top right corner is themed towards sheep. That's why there's lots of grass fields up here. And the top left corner is themed towards horses. Uh, at some point in time, I actually, just spoiler alert, would like to do a series in each of those other corners. Uh, but since we've done cows recently, and um, I'm not, not sure if I'm ready for horses yet, uh, I decided to go ahead and start with pigs first, just because I felt like it would be a lot of fun. Uh, partly because also, if I was going to do sheep, I might do like sheep and cotton at the same time for some reason. Just, just kind of have a, a double whammy of the uh, the fabric. And we already did cotton in our tribute run. So figure pigs would be completely different, completely new, and give us the opportunity to play around with a lot of different equipment because there's a lot of different crops that go into pigs. Uh, speaking of pigs, the reason I talked about they can eat nine different types of food. I'm going to come down here and I'll show you pigs for a second. If we come down to, where is it? Here we go, pigs. So pigs take four different categories of food. They have base type food, uh, which either needs to be corn or sorghum. They have grains that they eat, which either needs to be wheat or barley. Uh, they have to eat some protein, which is either soybeans, canola, or sunflowers. And then they need to eat some sort of root crops, which is either potatoes or sugar beets. So uh, of those, the ones that are the most... Uh, bang for your buck. The most yield that you get for the work that you put into it and the size of the field are corn for the base. So we'll be doing corn. Um, barley for the grain. So that's what we're going to do for that. Uh, it's going to be canola for the proteins. So we'll be doing that. And then finally, uh, sugar beets uh, beats out potatoes for the root crops. So expect us to be doing some sugar beets. So those are the four crops. Still four crops though. Uh, four completely different crops. Obviously, sugar beets takes a different type of equipment. Uh, corn takes a different type of header. Uh, thankfully, the wheat, or sorry, the barley and the canola, we can use the same header, um, same same header and same uh, piece of equipment for those. So that is going to be to, going to be the plan there. Uh, so here we are. Like I said, uh, first thing first. I mean, we've got to buy our field. Uh, one thing I'm going to go ahead and call out is that we are going to be doing. Um, we're going to be going into debt big time. I, I have no cap on the debt. Uh, we're going to go into as much debt as we need to get the right equipment just to enjoy this because struggling through the early game of just like slowly trying to work your way through some equipment, honestly, I don't know that that's that much fun. Uh, for me, at least it's not a lot of fun. I mean, if I was playing on my own, I might do that. But from the context of a YouTube video, I felt like it's just better just to 
let's just go all out and get everything we need right up the bat. So first things first, we are going to be buying all of the fields that we need. And then I'm going to go through and tell you guys what uh, we're going to be doing with these fields and how we're going to break this things up. Uh, the fields already have some crop on them. Actually, they actually have enough crop on them to at least get started with pigs at some point. Um, because they, they have root crops, they have the base crop, they have some protein, and they have some uh, grain already on the fields ready to go. In fact, a couple of them are ready to harvest as of this moment. So we'll go ahead and get into that here momentarily. Let me just go ahead and take out a big chunk of loan because we're going to be buying up all these fields. That is step one. Get all the fields that we need. I'm hoping, I'm hoping once we're all said and done, we're going to be about two and a half million in debt. That's That would be my happy place. If we go a little bit further, then it is what it is. But um, we're going to start with that. So we're going to go ahead and buy this field here. Uh, we're going to be buying field 53. It's a lot of money for 53, uh, considering you don't get you get a lot of it to be used up by this grass over here. And then do we have enough for 54 yet? We do. So we're going to grab all these fields, right? So there's our fields right here. And so if we come over here and look at this, like I said, we've already got corn on a couple of them. We've already got sugar beets on a couple of them. Uh, there's some wheat. There's some barley. There's some canola. There's some soybeans. Uh, granted, again, like I said, we want to do canola in place of soybeans, but we're not going to just plow over the soybeans that are already planted. We'll, we'll use those. And then we've got some potatoes as well. So that'll help up fill up. We'll have plenty of root crops. Truth be told, this is more root crops that we're going to need for a very long time. We will not need to plant root crops again for a long, long time after we harvest these. Um, so there we go. Might as well start making some money from pigs right away. There's a pig right there. Let's go ahead and make some money from that. In fact, if we come down the road a little bit here, there are a couple more little piggies down this way. We'll make 3,000 bucks just from pigs right from day one. There we go. A couple more piggies. Why not? All right, that's going to be about probably all the collectibles you're going to see me going around grabbing. I'm not too worried about the collectibles, to be perfectly honest. All right, one of the other things we need to do is we need to go ahead and get our kind of farm area set up. So one of the things that they added into the game is with these corner plots of land, you are able to sell the build buildings that they uh, that are there. So we're going to go ahead and select this one, sell this one. We, get a, we actually get 4000 bucks for that one. Uh, this one over here, I think all of these sell together. So this, the house, and that barn down there all sell together. Uh, looks like also the overhang over here. Uh, but you don't get anything for these, which is fine. We're going to sell all of that, get that out of the way. Uh, we do have a big chunk of uh, land now here to be able to put our pig styes or our pig pins or whatever you want to call them down. Uh, I am going to need to do a little bit of maintenance on the land here, though, because there's a little bit of a hump here. Uh, there's a pretty big hump over here. We need to flatten this out so that we have a good place to put our pigs. Uh, I also kind of want to get rid of these trees, to be perfectly honest. I wish I could just delete them straight up. Uh, but we may have to just go through the trouble of harvesting those cellos off and make a little bit of money, I guess, from that. Just to get them cleared out of here and make us some space for the pigs. Uh, the chickens as well, we'll need to find some space for. Thankfully, the chickens are pretty small and can fit just about anywhere. Before we get too far along and too busy, I guess one thing we should do is acknowledge or recognize the fact that we do have three fields ready to harvest right now. One is wheat, one is barley, and one is canola. So all three of those will use the exact same harvester. So we are going to go ahead and go immediately into buying us a harvester right now. So we're going to grab enough money for that. It's going to be probably, what, close to half a mil. We're going to need a pretty beefy size harvester. We're going to go with the big boy. We are not playing around with this, this run. Um, by the way, I've done all the math, <laughs> I think, and based on the field sizes, so here, here's, here's how this is going to break down. Field 73 is going to be our barley field. Should be just big enough to be a little bit bigger than what we need for the pigs and hopefully give us a little bit left over for chickens. I'm hoping there's enough left over for the chickens. That's the question mark. I know it's definitely plenty for the pigs. I'm not sure if the leftover is enough for the chickens yet. We'll get into that though. We'll, we'll kind of cross that bridge when we get there. Um, corn is going to be, uh, 74, 75 and 76. So these three fields right here, these big fields right here, we need a lot of corn. Corn is the big, the big chunk of crops for the pigs. I think corn is like 50%. And then I want to say the, the grain is like 20% and then it's like 10 and 10 or 15 or I don't remember exactly. Maybe it's 30, 10 and 10, something like that. We'll look at it once we actually get the pigs down. But the big one is the corn that's your base and, uh, they obviously become more productive as you give them more and more of the things that they need. And so we definitely want these to be as productive as possible. You lose a lot of money off of how much you sell them for if they're not fully productive. Uh, the sugar beets, once we need them again, 
will just be on field 81 right here. Field 81 is going to be plenty of sugar beets for us. In fact, a little bit left over. Uh, we will not have to do sugar beets every year because we just don't need that many sugar beets. And then we get a lot from even such a small field as this. And then finally, the canola. Uh, we need quite a bit of canola. So canola is going to be on 77, 78, 79, 80, and 82. So all of these over here are going to be canola. Um, that's how we're going to break that up. Most likely, I'm going to combine 79, 80, and 82 into a single field. Uh, the rest of them I might leave as singletons for now as their own fields. Uh, but like I said, we'll kind of cross that as we get there. All right, did I get enough money for this? I think so. We'll check real quick. I'm going to come in here and get us a harvester. Um, I actually don't know what kind of harvesters I want. Um, what kind of harvester do you want? I mean, if we're going to buy anything that we want, I kind of like these big black fence and Massey Ferguson's. I also like the Kloss one here. And I was thinking about kind of theming towards a lot of Kloss stuff because, you know, we do have, there's quite a few things that we can use for with Kloss. So that might be decent. That's a beefy, that's a beefy track, uh, harvester. What we got here? We got, uh, 16,000, can go up to 17,000, can go up to 18,000. Yeah, why not? Let's go for the class just because I kind of like it. So we're going to go with the big configuration so I can hold the most stuff possible. Uh, and like I said, we're just going to, we're trying to have fun with this. So I'm not really worried about how much this is going to cost us. I'm really just here just to have as much fun as we possibly can. Don't need the GPS. We don't care about the wheel brand. We're going to go ahead and just buy this thing straight up and we will need more money for the header. So let's go ahead and get us more money for that. I think we're going to be more than two and a half million in debt, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> but we'll go, we'll see how we get there. Um, so go ahead and go into class. Let's find the, the right header. Uh, we definitely need a corn one, and we also need the green one. Um, we will start with the green one, because that's what we need first, obviously. We'll buy you. And I guess we're going to need a, might as well grab a header trailer just to get this over here easier. Do the corn headers also fit on the header trailers? I've actually never tried. Let's see. Uh, let's go down to... Sorry, wrong spot. Header trailers. I mean, we're going to need a pretty big one. It's going to be a class one as well, right? So... I actually don't know which one of these we want. I mean, is that a pretty decent one? That's a pretty big one. I think that's what we want. And these, I think, are on the smaller side. All right, we'll try this one and see if this one's going to work for us or not. If not, then we will adjust. Cool. Let's go get that set up because getting this guy started on harvesting while we can finish talking about other things would be pretty good, I think. This is a massive header. I don't know if this is actually going to fit on here. Come to think of it, it's really not, is it? <laughs> Does that actually, I mean, I think it technically fits, even though it's probably not what it's made for. We'll go with it just because it's already here. It'll get us there. Sure, it's on there. All right, will this thing drive automatically while I talk about other things? Let's find out. All right, he will. Good. So, things we need to talk about. Um, like I said, I need to figure out where I'm going to put the pigs. Pigs are going to probably be down here somewhere once I get this smoothed out. Uh, the chickens are going to be in the same area. If worse comes to worse and we just can't fit the pigs over here, we do have all of this grassland over here that I can smooth out and put some pigs on that side as well. So, that's another option for us for sure. Uh, the only thing I'm going to call out before I kind of get too crazy, uh, it's not going to be something that's going to come up too often, but if it does, it's cool. I do have a new mod related to um, contracts. Um, 
which allows us to have these supply and transport contracts. I thought these would be kind of fun that if we do end up with some extra crop that we just don't need for our pigs, that, you know, why not? Let's grab a contract real quick, go fill it in and get a little bit extra bonus money just to kind of have some fun with it. So something to think about, something that we're going to be playing around with. But that is, I just wanted to make sure I called that out because that is a thing that will be part of, potentially part of what's going forward. So as far as the yields for the fields, um, the spreadsheet that I was looking at, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I can't remember if the spreadsheet was with bonuses from fertilization, all that stuff, or without. So if it's without, uh, with, if it does include the bonuses from fertilization and stuff like that, then we have enough food on all these fields to supply about 102 uh, pigs. About 102 pigs, based on how much they eat uh, as they get older and fatter and everything else in between. Uh, let me actually move this out of the way a little bit more. Oh, no, it's fine for it. So we can move it later because uh, we're not going to be doing these fields over here just yet. So 102 fields is where is what we're looking at. Um, or sorry, 102 pigs. Uh, if for some reason it is does not include the fertilization, we will be able to double that. Now, the good thing is there is a pig pen that holds 108 pigs. And so by my math, 108 pigs actually is almost perfect because they eat a little bit less when they're younger. And then as they get older, they eat more and more. And then over the entire lifespan, that's where that average 102 pigs comes into play. So I think we could actually support the full 108 because a lot of the time they're not going to be eating quite the full amount. Uh, but again, if it turns out that the fertilization was not included in the spreadsheet that I was looking at, then I will actually just make a second pig sty and we'll have, we'll have 216 pigs at that point. So we'll adjust if we need to, but we'll start off with focusing on the hundred and uh oh my goodness i don't have the crop destruction turned off no i usually have that turned off because i don't care about it crop destruction i don't feel like honestly we're gonna turn off field stones we're gonna turn off crop destruction i don't care about either one of those i don't i don't mind the weeds i don't mind the periodic plowing um automatic engine tar start is off that's fine everything else for now is okay so unfortunately we did destroy a little bit of crop it's not the end of the world but uh yeah, I just don't like having that on there. It's just, I don't know. I get it. It just, to me, doesn't add that much to the game. Especially with how, how tight these fields are. I'm not going to try and stress about trying to be perfect on on things. So we'll get this harvested up. And then we'll be ready to plant here later. Are you going to be able to... Let's actually move you over just a smidge. Now, we don't need any straw or anything like that. So let's make sure... Um, the straw salt is turned off. Cool. So yeah, we don't need any straw. We're not going to be making any straw. We're not going to be selling it. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's not right. That is not correct. The pigs do need straw. I is wrong. So uh, we do want to enable the straw swath. Cool. We'll get some of that going. I mean, we won't need a ton of straw, I don't think, but we definitely want to get some. So let's get you rolling. While you're doing that, uh, since we're going to be using the same harvester for all three of these fields, we'll just let him finish up. Uh, I will need to go ahead and get us a tractor so that we have that available. Uh, I think we'll be able to get by with a medium tractor for now. We might eventually get us a large tractor as well. We'll start with the medium, see where that gets us. And then if we need a large one just for like plow various plowing and stuff like that, uh, we will grab that as well. Let's grab a big old chunk more money. Like I said, two and a half mils, I'm, I'm hoping is goal. It's probably gonna be closer to three, three and a half, but be nice if we can kind of cut it off at two and a half mil and then start working our way towards digging ourselves out of that hole. <laughs> that is the goal. All right, so I'll grab you. Uh, I do want to go ahead and just give you the beefiest engine possible. And then I'm going to go ahead and give you wheel weights with wide tires just to give you a little bit more. I don't know if I care about well, we're in, the, we're in the U.S. We'll go with that. I do want the Isaria Pro Compact. I do not want the GPS. Cool. So there's our class. I guess we are theming towards class. Uh, what else do we need? We need a trailer for all of this harvested materials. So again, might as well stick with the class. What's the biggest, beefiest class we can grab? Looks like this one right here. Uh, that's only for grass type stuff. Okay, that's fine. Where's the biggest one that we can do? Is there a big one? We might have to break off the class this time. There's this one. I mean, it holds some. 
42,000 liters is not that much. I mean, granted, we're not going to have to go that far a lot of the time. It's probably good for a start, and then we might have to adjust later on, but I think this is going to be fine for a start. We want to make sure we have the extension and everything else looks okay to me. So we'll be good enough for now. For now, we're probably going to store our stuff in the um, in the railroad um, drop-off just because it's the only place that also holds all of the root crops. I don't have a... I, I should have looked for, and I might still look for a mod that will allow us to have a silo that holds root crops. Okay, well, I don't... Something I don't have. I don't, I don't don't think I usually do the stop thing. Where is that? Uh, what am I looking for? We are doing seasonal. We are doing one day months. I think anything longer than that is cruel. <laughs> Honestly, because that gets... I can't imagine doing more than long one day uh, months. That's, that's a lot. What am I looking for? Um, so I'm going to go breaking. There we go. I think we want that... Yep, I think that's what I usually use. Yeah, that's what I use. Okay, cool. Let's get you headed down that way. We'll get that emptied out. Get you started on the next field. And we're, I've already harvested, harvested one field. I mean, I'm sitting here talking, and things are happening already. Granted, it was an extremely small field and an extremely large harvester, but that's okay. Cool. All right, get you rolling down there. Um, the next thing we need to do is... Uh, we really don't want to get the pigs until we get all of the various pieces of their, their food. So we're going to hold off for at least another month or two until um, the rest of these crops grow in. Because if we look at the growth, uh, the next one would be these two. And then we've got a few more few more months to wait on some of the other ones. So we'll wait, we'll get those when it comes time. I think one of the next things we want to do is I want to go ahead and start smoothing this stuff out while this guy's moving over here. Oh, that's what I want to do. I wanted to chop down this one of these, actually all these dumb trees, get them out of the way. So might as well grab us a, where's the chainsaws? Is it down here? Let's grab us a, where is it? There it is, chainsaws. Sure, we'll go with still. Sounds good to me. Okay, yep. Get you to empty this guy out so he can get him started while we're playing around with the trees. We will need to grab a forage wagon so we can forge up all the straw, get that stored somewhere as well. Most likely a barn. This pipe is really wide. All right, we got oats. Actually, oats is the one thing we don't need. I just realized. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll store these in case we decide to sell them or finish a contract or something at some point. It may just sit there forever at this point because we really don't need the oats. All right, let's get you pulled in. Uh, we want to go ahead and harvest the... Is this barley next to us? I'm a, I, I think I've mentioned this before, but I'll mention it again. I'm, I'm a pretty big breakfast person. Oh, this is canola. That was ready to harvest, right? <laughs> yes, it is. Um, I'm a pretty big breakfast person. I like breakfast. So uh, that's why the bacon and eggs theme seemed to jump out at me. And I thought it'd be a lot of fun. All right, you're going up there. Let's jump out and go chop down a tree. Interestingly enough, I do have the Platinum Expansion, which did add tree, like more, more tree stuff to the game, but we're not going to be doing any tree stuff today, like other than just literally chopping this down so it's out of the way. Probably re uh, Lisa Stump, Stump Grinder just to get that out of the way as well. Uh, yeah, let's chop you down. Be able to make a little bit of money from that. We'll go ahead and chop down these other two as well. I think these two will be enough. Oh, we might need to chop that one back there as 
well, but we'll get to that if we need to. Now these trees are oddly shaped, so I'm not going to worry about trying to get them like broken up in the perfect, you know, links or anything like that. that that's not going to happen. We're just going to chop them up into little logs and um, just sell what we can. All right. We got the canola uh, ready to go. Not a lot of yields from these because they weren't uh, fertilized or any of that kind of stuff. So this first batch is going to be pretty, pretty sad, I would expect. I guess I could go ahead and jump up to normal speed. I was going at half speed while I was trying to get stuff set up. I didn't want things to get too far out of out of hand. But uh, I think we're in a good place. We'll get this emptied up. Get the next field harvested. Uh, I do need to start writing down the calendar of how we're going to get these things laid out, right? Um, when we're going to be planting things, things like that. It's possible we will not be able to do pigs for another year because we might need to do another full harvest on a fully fertilized set of fields before we can really justify getting any pigs. Although we're going to start relatively small. So even just a little bit of yield will be fine because we're going to let our pigs reproduce themselves up to the maximum that we want. By the way, the batches, it's going to sound weird. The batches is going to be nine pigs at a time, which I know sounds crazy, but we get nine pigs at a time. And if we sell them at 24 months, if, if I did my math right, I did this all this work on a spreadsheet, then we should never go past our maximum 108 pigs. We'll see if I'm right or not. I, I may be completely way off, but I, I think we'll be in a good place where we're selling pigs on a good uh, rotation where we always have pigs coming in with new, new, new pigs, new babies. Uh, we're always fattening up new pigs, things like that, and we'll just always have pigs to sell. So uh, something like that will be kind of what we're looking for. All right, let's get you moved over to the last field that is currently ready to be harvested. I do need to buy the uh, scans for all these fields. I'm going to get a little bit of straw from this one as well. Uh, let's go ahead and do that before I forget. So we need to purchase soil information. Get all those purchased, ready to go. You need to go drop off. One good thing about this is, and this is part of the reason why I wanted to do the pigs, is I feel like we're going to have something to do almost every month. Like, so we're going to have a full rotation, especially if we're also doing the chickens as well, right? We're going to be picking up eggs, selling eggs, taking chi uh, pigs off to sell the market, all that kind of stuff regularly. Uh, different crops at different times of year. Things I like that. Truth be told, if we get into a really good place, I wouldn't mind just doing a mixture of all these crops, even if the ones that aren't like the best yield, just so we can do some of the supply missions with anything extra we have, things like that. I, I don't know. Just I just kind of want to just have a whole bunch of variety in the game. But again, primarily we're going to focus on the pigs first. Uh, I do plan to um, have a uh, biogas plant set up so that we can use the slurry uh, offload the slurry and the um, manure to be able to make some extra money from that as well so expect one of those set up somewhere at some point in time i haven't quite figured out where that's going to be placed but that is going to be part of one of the plans let you here while you're doing that let's go ahead and go chop up some more of our tree 
And actually, uh, I'm probably going to do some of the chop cheat chopping in between episodes, get that set up and ready to kind of get it cleared off. And when we come back, we'll be able to get this thing flattened out and get at least get our pigs pinned down just so we know where it's going to be. Uh, we're probably like I said, we're not going to be putting any pigs in it yet just yet, I don't think. But I just want to kind of get it placed down. I could put some pigs in it and get some just pig food from the store. Maybe I'll think about that if that's what I want to do. It's definitely not profitable to do that long term, but it might just be good just to get it rolling, get it started, get some pigs fattening up, if you will, and then we can start feeding them as we go. But uh, but yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty excited about this run. I think it's going to be enough variety to keep us interested. Uh, it's going to be pigs, which again, not a lot of people do pigs, at least not from what I've seen. Uh, so it's definitely different than what we've done before. And we'll see how things go. But I'm really hoping you guys are excited about uh, the new series as I am. And uh, I do appreciate you guys watching. Uh, please, oh, I should have said this from the beginning. If you do like to see these types of videos and want to see more of them, please feel free, pl please feel encouraged, I should say, to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you know when these videos go live. Um, and uh, feel free to like the video if you like it, or I guess dislike. I mean, dislike technically still helps the metrics if you don't like it. Hopefully you like it though. Uh, and also I do welcome any and all comments in the comments below, but I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.